Hello, good day everyone. This is Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. Before we begin, I want to thank you all because we have reached more than 12,000 subscribers. And for that, I'll promise to make more videos. Thanks again for your support. Now, in this next repair, is a sharp across 40 inches LED TV. It's turning on with no backlight. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. We start measuring the voltage of the backlight driver. The cathode of this diode is the output of the LED driver. It stays at about 50 volts DC even the TV is turned on. It should go to a higher voltage if the driver is working. Now we take a voltage measurement of this TPS 6197 PWM driver. 12.14 volts is measured at pin 16 which is the power supply of this IC. And 3.29 volts at pin 2 which enable the device. and 64 kHz chip to 42 kHz frequency at pin 3 which is the PWM dimming signal input. Let's desolder the MOSFET. The MOSFET seems ok. I don't see any problems with the voltages. I think the TPS61197 is defective, but I don't have that type of IC to replace it. I have disabled the TPS61197 and the fault detector. And I will make a LED driver using the STRW6053N. Is it possible? Watch and learn. I have a preview video of this STRW6053N and its works. The drain connects to the anode of this diode. This diode refers to this diode. This will be our ground. This is the one ohm that connects to the source and to the ground. This 22 microfarad capacitor connects to the VCC and to the ground.
This resistor connects to the FB and connects to the ground. And these two B are connect to the ground. This 330 K ohms resistor connects to FB and connects to the cathode of this diode which is the output of the LED driver. Now let's connect an LED bar and try it if it works. This is the LED connection. It's blinking. I forget to put this 10K resistor, connect to the 60 volt supply. Seems working now. Now I connect it to the LEDs of the TV. The current is 250 milliamps. The LED driver is working now but it's always on.
we now make the BL on circuit so it can be turned off the LED supply. A few inches later. This is what it looks like now. This is the BL on control. Don't forget the Zener diode. Let's try it now. The LED is turning off now. Just parallel another 1 ohm resistor to this resistor so the current will increase. A few moments later. The TV is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video. Once again this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.